Hello and welcome to Itenert. Ethiopia is a magical country, with ancient, and spiritual roots, rich in significant religious history, and that has a fabulous story to tell. The beauty of wild mountains is only surpassed by, the awe-inspiring religious architecture, that draws visitors to this amazing country. It is where legends of the Ark of the Covenant, live side by side, and in harmony with ancient Islamic mosques. From thundering waterfalls to its vibrant, and modern capital city, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia is a place you have to see to believe. The landscape of this wonderful country is no less varied with lakes, rivers, rocky mountains, grasslands, and lowlands. Top it off with incredible wildlife, remarkable tribal people, delicious food, and wonderful weather. In this video, I present to you the top 10 best places to visit in Ethiopia. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Let's hear you in the comment box below if your favorite place made the list. Now here are the 10 best tourist places to visit in Ethiopia. Take note that this list is in no particular order. The number one on the list is Danakil Depression. If you are up for a really hot time, then make your way to Ethiopia's Danakil Depression. The depression overlaps the borders of Eritrea and Djibouti and is part of the Great East African Rift Valley. The Afar people call this northeastern part of Ethiopia home and against all odds, have not only existed for centuries but still have a thriving community. But beware, the climate is unforgiving, and widely considered the hottest, driest, 4 to 8 inches of annual rainfall, and lowest spot, 400 feet below sea level, on the planet. Having said all that, this is a geological depression caused by the continental drift of three tectonic plates, the Danakil Depression is one of Earth's most unusual environments. Renowned as the hottest place on the planet, and home to salt lakes, lava lakes, volcanoes, and colorful acidic springs. This place is a wonderful, alien environment that you need to visit in Ethiopia. The lava lake at Erta Ale is one of only six lava lakes on Earth, and will leave you in awe. The multicolored hydrothermal bubbling lakes, and great salt pans will amaze you, and have you question if you are still on planet Earth. The site is also rich in fossils of ancient hominids. Get your Ethiopia online visa, and plan your next trip to Danakil now. Next on the list is Aksum. Aksum is one of the oldest towns on the entire continent of Africa, and is rich in legend, and mystery. Head to Aksum, and you will see more ancient history than you can imagine. It is believed to be the home of the Queen of Sheba, and the final resting place of the legendary Ark of the Covenant. Unfortunately, visitors are not allowed into the church where the Ark is said to be, but you can still check out the ancient Aksumite obelisks found in the northern Steely Field. The largest obelisk was recently returned to Ethiopia by the Italian government, where it sat for decades, after it was taken to Italy during World War II. Its ruins, and ancient legends will fascinate any lover of history. In addition to legends of Sheba, and the Ark, locals believe that the roughly hewn tomb of solid rock of King Bizen, was actually Balthazar, and the Magi carried news of Christ's birth to Ethiopia. Despite the incredible history here, because it's a small town, Aksum is often overlooked by tourists. Enjoy discovering the relics throughout the city, visit mountaintop monasteries, and go underground to view Aksumite Empire tombs. Don't forget to check out my Shum, a large rock-hewn reservoir that local tribes believe the Queen of Sheba used as her bath. Another place you cannot miss in Ethiopia, is the magnificent Blue Nile Falls. The magnificent Blue Nile Falls that are located close to Bahir Dar, it is a superb sight on the Blue or White Nile, and the locals refer to it as Tizisat Falls, which translates a smoke of fire. During the flood season, the falls are a quarter mile wide, and plunge into a canyon more than 150 feet deep. Because the falls produce an endless mist that drenches onlookers from half a mile away, it is easy to see how they received their name. A perpetual rain forest of lush green vegetation creates breathtaking rainbows, you won't feel alone in this paradise because several monkey species, and colorful birds make the forest home. Number 4 on the list is Gondar. Nestled in the highlands of northern Ethiopia, you'll find the fabled city of Gondar. Once you have reached Raz Dashen, the highest peak in the spectacular Simeon Mountains, you will be able to marvel at Gondar, the Camelot of Africa. The castle was the medieval home to Ethiopian emperors and princesses who led the country for nearly 1,000 years. Once you have reached the main site, check out the royal enclosure, which is home to the main attractions in the city. Another site not to miss is Fazalata's Bath. This is where the annual Timcat celebration takes place. 
The water is blessed by the bishop, and splashed on the crowd of pilgrims that come to renew their faith, and to take part in the ceremony that replicates Christ's baptism in the Jordan River. Whilst here don't forget to visit Debre Berhan Selassie, which is considered to be one of the most beautiful churches in all of Ethiopia. Next is Arba Minch, on the shores of Abaya Lake in southern Ethiopia, Arba Minch is full of natural wonder, and beauty. Arba Minch in Amharic means 40 springs, and the area is rich in many tiny springs, that bubble up from the ground. You can see many of them as you hike through Nikaiser National Park. The most incredible sight in Arba Minch, is the cliff-top holy spot of Abuna Yemeta Church. This rock-hewn church is found, only after a mildly challenging climb up the sheer cliff wall. It requires a bit of nerve, and a lack of vertigo, but your effort will be greatly rewarded. Views from the church are remarkable, and inside this ancient holy church, you will find beautiful, and well-preserved frescoes that adorn two cupolas. Another amazing place you cannot miss in Ethiopia is Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa is the fourth largest city in Africa, and is the diplomatic home to the African Union. This vibrant city sits atop the Antoto Mountains, and has both an African, and international feel. Addis has a mystical aura that seems to act like a portal to the past. It's a place where you can explore the beautiful Orthodox churches, and museums. Make sure to check out the National Museum, where you will find the 2.3 million year old fossilized hominid Lucy. Also visit the Mercado, which is the largest open-air market in Africa. Here you'll have your senses awakened with the smell of
fascinating of the ancient churches, is the House of St. George, or Beta Georgis. This church is famed for its cross-shaped design, a network of trenches, and ceremonial passages, which connect it to the other churches. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is truly one of Ethiopia's incredible places to visit, and will leave you in awe of the faith that can move mountains. Thank you very much for watching this video. If there is any place in Ethiopia not mentioned in this video, then tell us in the comment box below. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video.